Education may not make the shock and anger over ITT Tech's sudden closing go away, but for many of its students, new possibilities are opening tonight. And one of them is at Cincinnati State, where we find Local 12's Angela Ingram. Angela? Well, Rob, as soon as the school found out what was going on at ITT, Cincinnati State took a look at the programs offered at ITT and saw that many of them are compatible to programs here. They quickly got the word out that they are willing to help here at Cincinnati State. They say they want as many students as possible to get their degrees. When ITT Tech shut its doors, 40,000 students were left with questions. What to do next? Cincinnati State says at least 40 former ITT students have set up appointments to come and see what options there are for them. Definitely wanted to figure out how we could help because the time frame was so quick. And we know that fall is the time that students are starting school and then for them to find out that there's no option, that's why we got together right away. We issued a statement letting students know to call us. 130 of ITT's campuses closed yesterday, including this one here in Norwood. Cincinnati State says its tuition is much less expensive than what students were paying at ITT. Cincinnati State's president is looking to see how to possibly help students salvage what they started at ITT. We've looked at the programs that ITT has offered and many are in alignment with what we do. So we have information technologies that includes networking, programming, cybersecurity. We also have business and accounting. Right now, the school is focusing on getting as many students as possible to complete their degrees. Do not give up on your dreams. Do not give up on your goals. There's still something for you. Cincinnati State is here for you. And Cincinnati State does have several programs to help out veterans, especially with financial aid. They are planning an informational session specifically for those who were displaced as a result of what happened at ITT. As soon as they have firmer details about that, of course, we will share that. Reporting live tonight, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Good news, Angela. Thanks very much. A company called Unique Home in Deer Park has also offered help. Union Institute and University has also offered options for students as well.